can visit very good financial uh, ratios, uh, quite a lot of good stuff on this side. I love it. You can register here, it's free to register. We have 47. So uh, yeah, it's it's kind of it's it's like if you got 100, is that too much? Right? That's why I'm going to show how to screen this, that you don't spend a lot of time to analyze all the companies. Because otherwise you spend a week, every day, like mm -hmm. all day long, to analyze all these 47 companies. Mm -hmm. right? So we don't have time to do that. But so we go here, screener as well, okay? Coming up tickers. Okay. And you see tickers here on the right hand side. You click here and paste it here. So all of them there here. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, you put oh, here. Yeah. Oh, Alright, so where yeah. tickers are. And then you click this. Yeah. And then okay, so mm -hmm. and uh, there are seven thousand five hundred and seventy three companies and now forty Five plus one. Forty five. I had forty six. One is missing somewhere. Two okay. is missing. So forty seven. Was forty seven. Okay, so two missing. So they weren't in this database. Mm. Okay. So okay. Because databases are different. So, and that's it. so now we have all this parameters. Now the good right. thing about this stuff that you can add additional parameters here now to that list. You can add something extra. So for example, you can put target price. So that's analyst believe that this company is going to grow. So you can put, for example, above. So is this like a real thing that we're doing? Yes, we're a real mm -hmm. thing. We're going to use this company. <laughs> so you can use any sector, okay? Uh, industry game. So you're not using it though, you're not clicking it. I, I'm not using right now. For us, important that it's optionable and shortable. Okay, that we can do. So we add it here. So same amount of companies. Then we'll go to fundamental. Okay, pure ratio. Again, you can change it here, pure ratio. Uh, adding whatever your criteria is for. But we already identifying the companies which we want, okay, in this particular case. Actually, because we don't have that, you can add that here. Mm -hmm, sorry. Because we didn't screen the debt company with the debt in uh, value sure. line. So now you're on the... So once that's done, the whole page changed. So you are descriptive, okay. now you are fundamental. Is yeah, it? so you can go to all, you actually can go just directly to all and you will see all can you of click the, go back to the So, and all the parameters here. You can add anything extra. Now, at the moment, I'm not adding anything except optionable and shortable. That the companies, they have options that we can sell calls and sell goods, okay? So, but that was exactly the same amount of companies. All right, I'm not going to add anything. So the way it uh, happens that here you can read pretty quickly a lot about businesses. So if you go to valuation, ah, uh, uh, oh, okay. So that's it, right? So, so that's it. So we just, just optionable <coughs> for now. Yeah. So optionable. That's it. So, okay. So we don't need to do the debt. No, no. Like if you want, you can add. It. Okay. So at but the moment I mean, like we don't do it. You, what we Be do because after that, do. I'm going to show just the screen around here. So at the moment we don't do okay. it. You will learn. Okay. So at the moment, so you see it here straight away. You can see P and four P, which is very good. So what if you see something like that? ADS P ten and four P seven. So this so, is on the valuation tab. Yeah, valuation tab. So what does it tell you? Is company going to increase their profit next year or, or reduce? Increase. Reduce. Increase. Oh, increase. Sir. Because the P is low. Down, yeah. Actually, all of them, they have to be like that. Okay, because we already set the parameter 5% growth for the future. So earnings has to be low. Okay, projection. But sometimes that uh, value line has one type by projection, FinVis has another one. Okay, so it's good for us to check it. What's a PEG? Well, is that for example, uh, a mark. Okay, it has. 10.05 and 10.75 here. Yeah, that went up. So yeah. this company, Finviz believes that this company, Amat, is going to reduce their earnings next year. Yeah. Whereas Value Line believes that during next five, three to five, it has to grow more than 5%. But it has a general, it may be not tax year, maybe it's two years from now, it moves 10%, so it recovers kind of altogether. But this is looking at next year, okay? So, Come, we can see here that from 13 to 28. So we know that earnings has to go down three times next year, oh, which is not bad. Huh? Bad, mm -hmm. like not not fit for us. So it doesn't again. So it doesn't fit with. So now, now we the next stop is comparing PE ratio. Yeah, CVS for whatever reason here they didn't put any PE ratio. Forward. Actually, there are a lot of tabs here which you can go. 
okay and you can look at them so the next step what you actually do you go straight away to charts and then straight away by looking at the chart you can instantly tell uh, if the company needs support resistance okay yeah so something like that and so this, is, so this part is to see if it's if the company is on support or resistance yeah right? so quickly so for example ads it's a triangle so if it breaks through it can go here if it goes breaks down so it can go here already done all for us yeah so it's easier so it is a triangle so it's actually a good point because it can break and move to nearly or down dollars. they could yeah. jump right it yeah means. but because we know that it's that's technically that's people who technically analyze the company but we know that it's undervalued companies so that's why you can go hmm, ideas i will put it ticker so write down somewhere ideas okay for example we can go to our uh like watch them. list to say for example uh yes mm -hmm. okay so so then we look at this one it's already up a month mm -hmm. okay so we need to wait until it goes bwa so what do you think so we're looking for stocks that are low at the moment it's yeah. a support right so it didn't turn around you see it's still red candle here mm -hmm. but it's already was here this once yeah, then yeah, jump yeah. twice then it's already same level here so if we put level but what i can see at the moment is at <coughs> close to support yes of course it can break down and go to this support mm -hmm. yeah. but at the moment it's kind of bwa i say yes as well okay but didn't you say it can risk of breaking down yes it's of course every company can go there. every company can go because uh, I, uh recently i watched this video i actually have to share it with you the guy mark douglas the guy who wrote trading in the zone and he was talking to the traders and based how they speak and everything i understand the people freaking hell they don't care about fundamental support they trade just on the move and if they see the price falling they short them. Mm -hmm. yeah they wouldn't care that it is a good company or not and then the big shark coming with the bank or whatever knowing and buying by on fundamentals killing all those traders mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. stop losses they don't go up there because it jumps it's like opens with a gap and everything mm -hmm. so our idea is to understand how uh, big companies think that's what we did first we analyzed fundamentally but at the same time we need to know how Small. majority of people yeah. trade so and they trade based on fundamentals so mm -hmm. i know that a lot of people now they put this line after that will do it but they put this line here and they think mm -hmm. it's going to bounce from here and as mm -hmm. soon as there is a green tick as soon as it's bounced buy. they start buy 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 mm -hmm. okay so and it's so that's what we price. want right that's what we want right mm -hmm. so if it breaks through if there is no green candle it breaks through so we wait because the next level it would be somewhere here the extra system yeah. Yeah. okay so it Are goes here then it bounces from here if it breaks here. through so that would be here right so that's what we that's why we need this green tick because it's confirmation for traders that traders start yeah. going on the upside yeah, so that one okay. hasn't got a green tick yet. because majority of uh, traders the way they do mm. is they sit here and they wait mm. and if it goes down they short the company that's right funny. right now mm. i'm just trying to identify out of these 47 companies the companies which i'm going to research further mm. okay. okay so that's why i'm looking this is might be trade for this week maybe for monday so so that's why i have